Today, the power of the X Prize comes to automotive. The X Prize Foundation is a philanthropic organization created to address today's grand challenges, to bring about revolutionary breakthroughs that will benefit all of humanity. We do this through prize philanthropy, offering incentive prizes of $10 million or more to drive innovation and leverage investments that far exceed the prize money itself. It's a strategy that has been very successful for us, and it's something we're thrilled to bring to the automotive industry. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. The Model T got 25 miles per gallon, and we think 100 years later, we should be getting over 100 miles per gallon. With a crippling and unsustainable dependence on oil and its undeniable effects on global warming, we must do better. The Automotive X Prize is a $10 million prize to teams that can produce production-capable, safe, clean, and super-efficient vehicles. Vehicles that can exceed 100 miles per gallon or its energy equivalent. We're not talking about concept cars. We're talking about real cars that can be brought to market in the near term, that consumers will want to buy. The vehicles will compete in one of two classes. A mainstream class that meets consumer expectations for four-wheel and four-passenger economy cars, and an alternative class that will push the boundaries of innovation even more. Plus, there's a manufacturer's category for vehicles that are in production now or will be in significant production by the end of 2011. Vehicles competing for the Automotive X Prize will all go through a rigorous qualification process, assessing safety, cost, ability to be manufactured, and their business plan. And then the best will race. Starting in late 2009, in major cities across the United States, qualified vehicles will compete in stage races. Speed, distance, traffic, terrain, and weather will test their performance in ways that reflect real consumer driving patterns. This is not a backlot test. This is a race for our future. It is a race we must win. Throughout the course of history, the use of prizes has been very successful in advancing entire industries. Competition produces the best outcomes because it brings together the most talented resources to work on specific goals. Notable examples include the Oteg Prize, the concept upon which X Prize Foundation bases its work, and the Longitude Prize from 1714 that was invaluable in advancing safe navigation at sea. This competition is an investment in the future of the automobile, and thereby an investment in our future. The Progressive Automotive X Prize, the competition that will push high fuel mileage technology forward faster, is something we can all be proud of and excited about. I'm not sure that I'm capable of entering the race. Um, I would probably design a subway car, which is how I get to work every day, but most people in this country do drive, and it really is important what you're doing, and I think you should all be congratulated. Uh, we really do need some new thinking. We need some innovation. I don't think there's any bigger threat to our world and to our country uh, than global warming and our dependency on oil. And the automobile really is at the root of both of those things. Uh, we desperately need new cars that are clean and efficient and safe, and of course are also attractive to everyday consumers because if people don't want to buy them, uh, having all the technology in the world doesn't do us any good. We've got to get people to participate and to change their lives and to understand that we have to use less energy and that we have to find alternative energy sources that aren't destroying our efficiency. We're here at the New York Auto Show because this is all about the competition and the vehicles. The window for formal application will open in two months, but already, amazingly, 64 teams from 10 countries have signed a letter of intent to compete, including teams from 22 states. Teams range from established companies like California-based Tesla, Norwegian-made Think, 
and Zap, to well-funded startups like Germany's Loremo, the well-known Aptera, and the sleek Belosi, and the truck-like Phoenix, to ambitious college teams, and even a surprisingly well-qualified high school team. Some will develop new vehicles, others will retrofit existing vehicles. With over two years to go before the final race, perhaps the best is yet to come. Many will compete, but only the best will race. Real cars, real drivers, real roads. It's a race for our future, and it's starting. More clean energy technologies.